Kisun and Luke to you. It's playing on our celebrities countdown. It's about 16 minutes after 2 p.m. And today in studio, I have uh, a lady all the way from Zimbabwe. She's here to, you know, just talk about uh, our women problems. She's a female activist. And I'm happy. Power to the brow child. Oh, yeah, yeah. Power to the brow child. And the so, women. And the women, indeed. And the, and the, we all need someone who out there to, you know, give us a voice. Yes. So, tell me, when did you really actively get into being a Zimbabwean uh, female artist? Okay, so I know a piece can just pronounce many words. It's yes. Nyarazo. Nyarazo. <laughs> Because yes. they don't want to mispronounce it, <laughs> then know. you have a bad experience saying, oh my goodness, I'll help. he's just kept on saying, I don't know why. No, I will <laughs> yeah, help you so. all the way. Yeah, yeah, that's so. By the way, it means comfort. Comfort? Yes. Oh, you I can mean, call I'm, me I'm Nari. Call Nari. 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 Yeah, that's better. I'm going to call you Nari. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, Nari, um, when did you start, uh, you know, actively, like, seriously doing this? Um, so I seriously started doing this with my organization called Tag a Life in mm. 2010. But I also had an opportunity to work for other women organizations mm. and other girl child rights organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, but full time for myself, I went in 2010. Mm -hmm. That's when we established Tag a Life or Simply Tally. Mm. And then um, ever since then, we never looked, we never looked back. Okay, yeah. so who are you fighting for the most? What What is your passion? What's the biggest subject, uh, issue that you're yeah. tackling right now? Thank you. My biggest issue and my biggest result that I need to see when all is said and done, mm. I want to see an empowered girl child mm. who is able to compete on the global market, mm -hmm. um, who is empowered fully to, to realize their potential. Mm -hmm. I come from a society whereby girl children's lives are marred by limitations because of who they are, because mm -hmm. they are girls. Um, they probably sometimes married early mm -hmm. and sometimes opportunities are given to the boy child in, uh, mm -hmm. and then the girl child is actually, you know, the, the, the sacrifice left to go and work and maybe earn a living mm -hmm. but what that does to the girl child when we when we take her either to the city or to work or to send her to get married so we can survive mm -hmm. we are exchanging her her, her, her future life, her life yes yes for something. It, it, it gives us so many vulnerabilities mm -hmm. uh, you know issues of diseases mm -hmm. because she's young she can't negotiate for safe you know, mm, relationships, mm -hmm. exactly. And um, neither sh will she go to school. She She's likely to get married also to a, a poor man. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's just a whole it's cycle. It's a vicious of, cycle. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, so when all is said and done, we want to educate communities, mothers, fathers, to educate the girl child. When mm -hmm. all is said and done again, the girl child is the one who's going to come back and look after the parents. For where I come from, let me tell you, yeah. there's a saying that you educate the girl child and you have built a nation. Exactly, that's exactly so, true. That is what probably people need to learn. Exactly. And that's what we need to start pushing for. So you know, people can true. start understanding the power of educating a girl child and how much more they can do. Because see, you know, most, and we're going to go there, yes. most of the corrupt people are here. Yeah. Exactly. And it's not like I'm, I'm being biased or yeah, we're, we're talking about um, or I'm being discriminative, but yeah. you'll find that the majority are yeah. the men that are involved in all these That's true. scandals and all. Because a woman has, she thinks a lot. She, she considers yeah. other people yes. before she, you know, she can go ahead and do something that selfish, that if is, I can put it that, that That's way. true. And you know what? If a woman is going to do anything, she is pushed to the limits, mm -hmm. and when she does that, it's gonna be for the family. Mm -hmm. Unlike 
sorry men i'm not i'm just talking we're about those talking other men. ones well, those no, other ones the, would the do it yeah. the, ones we're the bad about. men would do it <laughs> they do it for their glory for their ego mm. to spl- to splash around many women you know it's never for the wife and the children mm. but if a woman is driven to the extremes or whatever she does she's doing it for the family she's doing it for the parents for her siblings mm. so it's true. Invest in women. Invest in the girl child. Invest in the community and the nation and the world. Mm. So this is about it. We're not. We're not like we want division between men and women. No, no we don't. We're just saying let's treat our children the same. Fairly. Yeah. All right. Now let's get to the lighter part. Uh, Whitney Houston. <laughs> I look to you. Why do you like this song? I look to you. It's a spiritual song. Mm-hmm. Apart from doing activism. Mm. I am a very spiritual person mm-hmm. and it actually empowers my work. Mm-hmm. So something like I look to you is a, is a gospel song mm-hmm. that brings you closer to God. I Indeed. look to you mm-hmm. in, the, in the hard and tough times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's get back into your countdown. I can see Mariah Carey with I Want to Know. Yeah. There's this song, this song, this song. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It yeah, really, be, this song. Yeah, it's powerful. Yes, let's have it. Let's have it. <laughs> now, how fantastic flavorful fan with the fun, pretty flavors of Fanta. Fanta Orange and Fanta Story. Fanta Strawberry are now available at your nearest outlet. Fanta, play Fanta. We'll get back into a celebrity's countdown at number eight i guess at number eight at number seven you're going to be listening to sounds of mariah carey with i want to know where love is and it's coming up after this this is it radio city